I'm very pleased to have an opportunity to have a show of my old paintings in PII gallery where I had my very, very first show right after I graduated from PAPA about uh, 10 years ago. So this show is composed of paintings that were done in the span of this like 10 years and uh, somehow stayed with me all this time. I wouldn't uh, call my paintings my children. For me, it's a big stretch. It's, they're not my children. But I view them more like Pinocchios, the puppets that are made of uh, wood and other materials for entertainment purpose only. But with some help of magic, they run away, misbehave, and have a life of their own. But uh, some of them uh, are here to linger for a while with an artist, and usually those are the ones that we love the most. Uh, this one here, flamenco dancer, was hanging in my kitchen wall for quite some years and many of you probably remember it. Uh, that one behind me, uh, Alice in the Rabbit's House, uh, was done as an homage to Schwankmeyer movie and uh, Lewis Carroll's tale, uh, but became autobiographical since sometimes I feel just like that, stuck in a house that's too small for me. Obviously, artists uh, have a lot of power over their paintings, but the opposite is also true. Paintings have a lot of power over the artists and influence our lives a lot. If paintings want to happen, you better not to argue with it. Otherwise, it will sneak into other paintings or other areas of life. Uh, I don't know yet why uh, my shaman painting uh, self-portrait happened and I'm still waiting to see why. Uh, it could be all in my head, but I think I painted uh, my husband Misha in this wedding painting way before I even met him. The weird little thing is like my favorite, very favorite topic is theater, but I'm not a big theater goer, so I'm waiting to see when this gun on the wall is gonna shoot one day. I don't know if my painting changed that much over those 10 years, but uh, the way I feel about them changed dramatically. I care much less about the way they look and care much more about the way they make me feel. Uh, when I had one of uh, my periodical mini crises that every artist periodically has, uh, I started feeling that the things that I'm doing in my studio are becoming in a way very limited. I developed such a routine of the way I'm thinking about paintings, uh, uh, conceiving paintings, executing paintings, that I became merely an executor of my own ideas and not the creator of them. Uh, so, uh, to break free, I began to make drawings with my eyes completely closed. Uh, that freed me tremendously because uh, I lost all uh, the control over the paintings and had no expectations or any attachment to results. Uh, I would uh, be as surprised as everyone else at the end results, and I really liked that feeling. Now, slowly, I'm uh, trying to translate this experience to my paintings. I'll uh, have to invent <laughs> some other ways to do it, though, because I don't think I can paint with my eyes closed, but we'll see about that. I was uh, watching the other day my cat uh, playing with the shoelace. Uh, the game was to hide uh, and sit very quietly for a while, and when the shoelace is not looking at all, jump and attack it. Uh, the thing is, uh, Julie could probably see her really well because she was uh, hiding underneath my sweater and became this very big moving blob. And she was the one who couldn't see anything. But for her, it was a very good hunt. And uh, she was right because it's uh, her game. And we all are functioning just like that. All our expectations, rules, boundaries, and conventions are completely in our head. Uh, but uh, we would laugh with anyone uh, who would uh, say so and who would try to convince us otherwise. And maybe one day we would uh, laugh at our old ways as well. Anyway, uh, there is uh, much more ahead of us than behind. Enjoy the show!